Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another planty video. Um, so this is going to be a very laid back kind of chill video. I wanted to just do and a kind of like last tour or update of my plant room here just so you guys can kind of see how everyone is doing before I move and then of course I will be doing more updates and plant tours after I move and am settled so um yes we're gonna go check out the plant room however I must warn you I am three days from moving and I have just kind of like given up on all organization um, and in my home. So yeah, I have not done anything in the plant room to prepare for this video. It's literally just gonna be like real life. You know, it's a bit of a hot mess, but um, let's go check it out. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> this is what you see when you walk in. There's literally clothes on the floor, plant stuff on the floor. Um, yeah, my filming table that should be like folded and stored somewhere is just chilling there. I've been filming a lot the past couple of days, just trying to pre-film and be prepared for my move. Um, but yeah, this is the situation. This, I really need a better organization system, you guys, because now I've just like accumulate, accumulated so much plant stuff that I don't really know where or how to store it. Like if I could find some like drawers or I don't know, just like a nice way <laughs> to store things, um, that's going to be something I look into within the next little while. But yeah. Um, I have my fan there. I've turned it off for filming this video, but my desk you guys have seen in some videos recently and Yeah, it's not really anything like super exciting. I just have my thirsty ladies over there Have a couple of plants over here as well um, And this table tends to just kind of collect things like I'll set my watering can down there or just like random things I need to plant my jalapeno peppers today. I'm gonna do that. So that's why this is sitting here Actually, maybe I'll move it over here. So I remember to do that I've been experimenting with some different seeds. So I have been filming it. So I'll share the process once I have like enough uh, of, a, of the process <laughs> to share. So yeah um, Okay, so moving along my silver sword lives there Begonia maculata my monster albo my Milano Chrysum, as you guys know, lives there right beside the humidifier. It is putting out a new leaf here. Somebody suggested that I air layer it because I am planning to propagate this or to chop and prop once once um, this leaf comes out because you guys, it has grown all the way up. It's pole, I can't even believe it. This is like my baby. Um, it just put out this leaf. Gosh, I can't really, it's not really a way to, to show you. Um, let's see, I want you to see it. It's put out that leaf, um, like within the last week. Um, I have some terracotta pots chilling down there, a towel to catch drips. Um, yeah, this is gonna need a really good clean once I move everything out of here. Why is my polonia dropping so many leaves? There's like a bunch of leaves down there. Maybe it's thirsty? I don't know, oh dear. Okay, I'll have to investigate that. I really like that plant. Are you thirsty? Like, what's going on? I just have some more established kind of plants on this lower level here. My pitcher plant lives there. Um, my dancing dolphin vine, which, oh gosh, have I shown this on YouTube? Oh, I showed it in my water with me, but it wasn't like in full bloom yet. But now you can see that is what the dolphin, the dancing dolphin blooms look like when they're open. This is just like the coolest thing, you guys. Like, wow. I'm so impressed by these blooms. It's amazing. Then my Hoya Waiedii, which is doing so well. This probably needs a drink. I don't know, but it's doing really well. It's put out a ton of new growth. Um, I've really been liking that plant lately. And then Raphidophora decursiva. I think that needs a drink. It is working on some new growth down there. And then up here is a lot of my philodendron. A lot of these need a drink as well. I think that's what I'm going to be doing tonight is watering all of my plants. I don't want anyone to be super thirsty before I move because last time I moved, um, I did 
end up like going a few days without watering any of my plants just because I was so busy getting everything organized and that was when my raffidophora, this guy, rotted on me. So these are the cuttings that I took um, but, but I lost like the whole big plant. I just saved two cuttings. Um, but my Florida ghost is like absolutely, oh my gosh, this leaf is browning too. What the heck? I think I need to move this into less light because the the ghost leaves don't won't turn green. They just stay white and then they brown off and die. Oh my gosh, that's so disappointing. I thought that this one was gonna turn green. It was starting and now it just looks like it's gonna brown off and die. Oh, that's so annoying you guys, so, so annoying. Gosh, I'm really disappointed. I just bought this plant in December and I've lost three, two or three leaves already. Ugh, I'm gonna move it into different lighting. If you have any suggestions for this, please let me know because I love this plant so much. That's just like not cool. Anyways, my philodendron Florida beauty, whoop is beside it and looking so beautiful. It's just unfurling this leaf here, which is basically a half moon leaf. Amazing, I love it. My Billy Etier is actually putting out a new leaf here as well, which is so cool. Um, my Alocasia Black Velvet bulb that put out a leaf is in there. I will be potting it up sometime this spring. And then on this shelf, I have a lot of my Hoya and some propagations. Um, yeah, so these are some of the Hoya that Plant Haven Toronto sent me, um, which was so nice, and I am absolutely in love with all of them. They're all doing really well, so I'm stoked about that. Um, some cuttings here of my Linearis, this little wet stick guy, what even was this? Hoya fungi, I think? Um, hoping that he continues to grow in there. And, oh gosh, I've let these dry out so much again. Oh, I'm really bad with this. This moss string of heart situation. Oh gosh, I wonder if they'll be dead maybe this time because I've done that a couple times now. Yikes, my variegated one. I'm gonna try to save them, but we'll see. I really need to water today. It's so hard to keep up sometimes, am I right? This is a beautiful Syngonium erythrophyllum um, that I grew from a wet stick. Okay, sorry, my battery died. Um, anyways, this Syngonium erythrophyllum or Syngonium black was sent to me as a cutting from my friend Courtney in the fall, and I ended up losing all the leaves, and then it was just a wet stick, and it recently, well, not even recently, like a couple months ago, it put out this leaf and I was just so over the moon. So I'm really hoping it's gonna give me another leaf <clears throat> and just continue to grow. I'm so excited about that one. Also, here's my <laughs> Hoya sigillatus that was a bit of a import rehab. And this is the newest leaf it's given me and it's like a weird like double leaf. It's so wide, um, so that's interesting. Anyways, lots of fun stuff up here. Down here are more just propagations. Um, yeah, this Hoya Bella is looking so good. It grows so fast. Love that. Variegated Maranta as always. Um, this is Philodendron Mykins that I am propagating in perlite. I actually used this as a demo for my perlite reel on Instagram. I do plan to make a whole YouTube video about propagating in perlite, so that will be coming eventually. But um, yeah, I haven't checked yet to see if there's any root formation, but hopefully there is. My Anthurium vitrifolium back there, which is a kind of a rehab situation as well. Well, definitely. Its roots completely rotted, so I put it in perlite. As per one of your guys' suggestions, actually, I had never propagated in perlite before, so I did it as like a last ditch effort. And it totally perked up and gave me a new leaf and it has roots growing, um, which is just so amazing. I took it out about a week ago and looked at the roots and they were looking really good. So I'm just like feeling really stoked about perlite lately. Like I think it's gonna be my new favorite propagation method. So much better than sphagnum because sphagnum always dries out, which is annoying. 
Okay, some of my begonias are here as well. A lot of them hate me, so yeah. Um, and this was, <laughs> oh my gosh, this was a propagation experiment that I was trying to do with all of these different mediums um, to see which one rooted and grew the fastest. But I uh, deleted all of the footage. <laughs> and I was so annoyed at myself. Um, it took me quite a while to film all of these different things. And then, yeah, I deleted it all by accident because I didn't know there was something still on my memory card. So, yeah, now it's just like chilling here. <laughs> and beside that are some of my cactus seedlings, you guys, which I am, like I said, making a whole video about. But I will give you a sneak peek that they have sprouted. Or some of them have sprouted. If you can see those little green things there. Oh my gosh, I'm just so excited about that. Wow, if those grow into little cactus, I will die. Um, my Hoya Puba Calyx, which I always neglect. I really should give it more attention, but yeah, it's just chilling there. And then up here, I have some Hoya from Hoya Shop Canada that I unboxed um, yesterday, actually. So I gave them some water and they're just chilling in here. I need to pot them. Um, and here are some uh, kind of rehab situation. They're actually like doing well, most of them. Um, I have a varicosum baby there. These two are philodendron, oh gosh, what are they called? Philodendron camposportianum, something like that. And then the other two are begonias. So they both completely died back, um, but now this one is doing really well Th that's begonia uh darth vaderiana and the other one is begonia jula and that one isn't doing quite oh oh my gosh i think i see a new leaf oh <gasps> yes it's given me a new leaf you guys maybe it will be okay after all i can't even see my camera i hope you can see that but um yeah i've been growing them in this tupperware bin uh which keeps really high humidity and i water with distilled water so those are all doing well and then over here i actually have a heat mat and um, i actually have my pink princess here which is currently working on a new leaf and i'm very excited to see if it has pink it looks like it has pink but this could be a hoax you guys because it could just be pink on the underside because sometimes it looks like it's gonna have pink um can't find an example but Oh yeah, see there, it has a big pink on the underneath, but nothing on top, so we'll see. I really have my fingers crossed for it. And then I have my Emetrium Medium um, nodes in here. They're on the heat mat. Um, I checked on them either today or yesterday, and it looks like they're starting to root, so that's great. These are my jalapeno pepper seeds that I was soaking, and I'm going to plant them today, probably after I film this. So that's pretty much the shelves. Oh, my philodendron silver stripe is here as well. I'm thinking about selling this plant because it just doesn't bring me joy, to be honest with you. It just doesn't. <laughs> Maybe I'll keep, I have a baby, so I'd probably keep like the baby for myself, but yeah, I might sell that. Um, and then my string of hearts, which honestly is never looking great, but she's really great for taking propagations from, so that's what I've been doing lately. And then I have my rubber tree. This is like, yeah, this is my life right now, you guys. There's clothes. I'm like half packed my clothes, but half of them are just kind of everywhere. Um, my beautiful Calathea Warshesquixii. Um, I really want to pot her into one of my Lashusa pots, um, but my order has been delayed for like a month. So uh, I don't know, but she's been working on that new leaf for quite a while. Not sure why it's taking that long, but... Yeah, she's doing okay. My polyneura, which looks so sad. Um, its leaves got burned and they're just looking so awful and yellow. It is pushing out new growth. And I think after that new growth comes out, I might just like chop this whole plant back, you guys, because I'm just not happy with the way it looks. And then I'll have lots of like propagations and I think I'll probably do that. But my alocasia stingray, which is so beautiful. It actually has 10 leaves right now, which is the most I've ever seen it have. And the most recent one has this little spot of sport variegation, which is so cool. If you can see there, it's like a lighter green spot. It's so pretty. I love it so much. I was so excited when I saw that. Um, I actually have a whole care video that I filmed recently on this guy. So 
that might be up already but go check that out if you're interested um because ever since i started like actually caring for this plant properly it's been giving me these big beautiful leaves um monster adansonia and leca my anthurium clarinervium who also completely rotted look at that yellow leaf completely rotted on me so i'm trying to save it in perlite as well <laughs> the same as i'm trying to save uh, my uh, vitrifolium up there and then my monstera albo who if you guys have been following along you know it just never is very happy with me um it's stuck with just these three leaves i thought that it was going to be pushing out this new leaf here but i guess it's not quite yet because it hasn't done anything in like a week um so yeah hopefully one day it gives me a new leaf but yeah this plant just like i don't know why it's so finicky with me it's just not happy okay i think that's it oh yeah under here i have a prop box this is a prop box i've been working on on my prop circle series so you've probably seen it then um i haven't gone into it because i'm like waiting to film another episode of that so yeah that's the situation that is the situation if you guys have any um questions about my humidifier as well i just recently did a video all about that answering like some common questions and how i maintain it um I am going to be doing my potting mix video soon as well. I need some more supplies, I'm running low, so whenever I get a chance to like go and stock up. But that turned into like more thorough of a tour than I thought it was gonna be, but I love to give you guys little updates um, on how my plants are doing. So I hope that you enjoy it as well. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and leave me a comment down below in the why do I want to say the description box every time in the comment section? <laughs> I think maybe it's because the next thing I say is if you're interested in bonus content, my Patreon is linked down in the description box and my merch. Um, I just like want to mesh that into one big sentence, I guess. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for your support. I love you guys so much. Take care. Bye.